Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're showing you in this video is a long time coming. Apple now has an app on Roku. This is exciting because back in the old days, Roku and Apple were really two of the only big kids on the block. There were a couple of others out there. Vizio had a device and the WD, you know, their device was out there. But for the most part, it was mostly Apple versus Roku. Now, there's an Apple TV app for Roku. The reason there's an Apple TV app for Roku is because it is now coming up where Apple is going to have its own service. And so they're going to need to have an app out there so that people can reach it. And this is how you add it. You go into the search channels and look for Apple TV. You add the channel right here. And it's going to put this on your Roku. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this. This is not the same thing as having an Apple TV on your Roku. This doesn't give you a whole nother app store or anything like that. What this is set up to do is help you make purchases from Apple. This will allow you to go in and look at things that like Apple's going to be offering through the Apple TV Plus service. You can also even interact with the Apple TV channels, the subscriptions through Apple. This is also just like the Roku channel, so if you already got it on a Roku, you may not find that feature all that interesting. But if you signed up for channels through an iMac or through you know any other Apple device, you can access them directly through the Roku. So you see you start here, and we're just going to click on Start Watching. Whether you send this information out is up to you. For this video, we're going to say do not send and take a look at the interface. If you've seen the Apple TV before, you'll see that this is actually very, very much like an Apple TV interface, especially the Apple TV app, the, the app just called TV. The only difference is that in this one, you're not going to be able to break things down by genre, but you see that the accessibility menu and things like this look just like it does on an Apple TV, which is kind of interesting seeing it at play on a Roku. But like we said, when you look at what is available here, there are lots of good settings, you know, things to help you figure out, you know, what you're going to buy, who can buy it, and, you know, and that's a good thing. So this syncs up really well with all of your Apple stuff, and we're going to show you what you have to do in order to make that happen in a couple of minutes. But that is the basic settings menu. Now, if you look at the search, this isn't a search like some of these things that people show where they're like, you know, show me princess movies or something like that. We're going to show you the sort of thing that you get. Like if you type in a subject, what it's going to find is things with that title. So we write princess, and you know you see princess and the frog, the princess bride, as you wish, things like that. So this is a good way to find something if you know what it is that you're looking for specifically. But you can't just say, you know, movies about cars and things like that. But it does give you a lot of stuff. I think Princess Knight looks disturbingly familiar as maybe... Something else I've seen before in a Disney movie. What do you think? Once you're looking at something, you can check out the cast of the movie and find other projects that they've worked on. So that's cool. You know, if you find if you have a favorite member of some movie and you're like, oh, I'm, you know, I love that guy. Uh, you can go in there and you can see what else they've done. It also breaks things down. You see, pick your pals. What this is, is selections from popular stuff. You can jump in, like it's got, geez, almost everything you can find for SpongeBob SquarePants. Movies, TV series. And, but you'll see, you can only buy things. Because that's the whole idea behind this app. It's all about selling you things from Apple. It's essentially the iTunes store on a Roku. iTunes has never been available through Roku, and now you can rent movies and TV shows just like you always could from the Apple TV. 
So, you know, it's got a really nice interface. And, of course, you know, if you've already got an Apple ID and you enjoy that, you can jump in and see anything you want. Now, there is some other stuff that you can do with this, and that seems kind of like a, a little carrot to get you started. And that's that you can look at the Watch Now section. And the Watch Now section has some free stuff that you can watch, it's just various TV shows. You know, they're, they're pushing all the new shows, the fall season premieres. And the reason they're doing this is because they want you to go, oh, True Blood. You know, I want to watch that. Oh, I, mean, I, I better sign up for HBO. And then, of course, they hope you're going to do it through Apple. But they put a lot of stuff out there to tempt you. And, you know, if you want to see it, you got to click on it. Once you do, you know, you have the option to play the episode, of course. You know, what, what would an app be if it didn't do that? And here's where you got to start working a little bit. We're going to... For this video, do a sign-in on TV. Though, if you don't have an Apple ID yet, you do have a chance to create one. We've already got one, and we did skip putting in the password. But I wanted to point this out, that the keyboard is an A through Z keyboard, with 1 through 9 and a 0. It has all the things you need to type in your password, including the email kinds of shortcuts, if you need a symbol, it's up here in the right-hand corner. And in the absence of a shift bar or something like that, you can add capital letters by choosing the capitals in the middle there. Sometimes that can be confusing if you're used to using a keyboard or other on-screen keyboard types. So we're going to sign in. And here's where it can get tricky. You see, it's asking for an Apple ID verification code. This is something that will be sent to an Apple device. If you already have you know, an, a Mac, an iPhone, an iPad, what it's doing is asking you to verify that you actually have that device. And so what it's doing here is it's showing this is my iMac screen. And you'll notice it gave me the code. So we're going to go take this code and we're going to go ahead and go back to the Roku and type that in. So here we are and type that code in. Done. Okay, we're signing in. And you see now, ta-da, it's starting. So now this is a free episode, and that's all well and good. But, you know, they give you one freebie, and after that it's going to cost you something. Get it? So, check it out, you know, and if you like it, then you can sign up for whichever service it's on. Now, just because that stuff is free on the free series premiere doesn't mean that everything is, for instance, the movies here. These are just regular old movies. You rent them, you buy them. If you haven't seen Yesterday and you like The Beatles, this is a fun movie, just to let you know. But that is pretty much it. That is the Apple TV app for Roku. Like I said, it's a store. It's a, a portal to their services. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm Ryan Downey. If you like the video, please subscribe and share with your friends. And as always, stream on, my friends.